Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing. Um, I recently posted a full face drugstore tutorial on my channel and what is all of this all over the place? And in the comment section, somebody commented saying if for my next full face drugstore tutorial, I would do a tutorial <laughs> using the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild and that is what I'm doing today. I was like, good idea, subscriber, good idea. I've had it for a little bit and I've never done a tutorial using it, so I decided to do it. And most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, I use these colors right here. You guys know if you watch my channel that I hate, okay, well, that's a strong word, I'm sorry, let me take that back. I don't like green eyeshadow on my eyes. I know you guys say that you like it on my eyes, but I don't, I don't think it's flattering on my eyes because my eyes are green, so there's no contrast. So it doesn't really like make my eyes pop. It all like blends together. That's just how I feel. But since I always use colors like this, I decided to use this side for today's tutorial because I know a lot of you guys love green eyeshadows. So that's what I did today. If you guys want to see a tutorial using these colors right here, then let me know in the comments. Of course, it's going to be some... Is my camera crooked? gonna be something that I typically do like a very bronzy eye with this brown but I love this chocolatey color where am I going with this I don't know I also used a couple other Wet n Wild eyeshadows I don't know why Wet n Wild has no idea who I am this isn't sponsored by Wet n Wild I just love Wet n Wild eyeshadows so cheap so good I have a pimple right here and I decided not to cover it with concealer just because No, this isn't a Heineken. It's sparkling water. I got lipstick on it. I want to address something. A lot of people say, like, whenever I do something like stomp in my videos, that I'm sounding like Manny, that I'm starting to talk like Manny. No, I'm not copying Manny when I talk like that. I'm imitating Miranda Sings every time I talk like that. I have like binge watched Miranda Sings recently, like for the past three months. That's all I do is watch Miranda Sings and she talks like that. If you don't know who Miranda Sings is, she's a YouTuber. She's out of her mind. I love her. So Miranda Sings talks just like that and M Manny loves Miranda Sings too. And so do I. So we're like imitating the same person. That's why people think I'm imitating him. But no, he's Miranda. Oh crap, this is supposed to be a tutorial. And I'm here just talking. Wow. I'm sorry. Longest intro ever. I'll let you uh, go on and uh, now. Okay, we're gonna prime our eyelids. That is first, because we want our eyeshadows to stay in place all day and to look more vibrant. So for that, I am using my LA Girls Pro Concealer, because I like to use it to prime. Then I'm going to take this palette from Wet n Wild. It's super old and discontinued and it makes me sad because it's probably the best palette Wet n Wild ever came out with. It's the Vanity Palette. If you could snag this on Amazon.com or eBay, get your hands on it. It's amazing. I'm using that brown and I'm going to use it as my transition shade. What? Transition shade? Because the Comfort Zone palette is nothing but shimmers. So yes, going into the Comfort Zone palette, I'm going to take this really dark, dark green. It has a bunch of green little glitters in it, but it's just a really dark color. And I'm going to be applying this to my entire lid all the way up to my crease, just not passing the crease, just getting right up in there. Yeah. Then I'm going to take this really beautiful goldy green color and I'm going to apply this to my entire lid. This is a brush from e.l.f. It's in their $1 line. It's just a flat shader brush. So I'm applying this color to my entire lid and then I'm wetting the brush a bit and then going over it just so that the color can be a little bit more intense when you wet it. Then I'm going to go back into that brown shade and I'm going to blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm going to take this um, brush, it's from Morphe, and I'm going to start building this color. I dipped it into that dark green shade again, and I'm going to start packing this color onto my outer V and then dragging it into the crease, and then connecting it to the other side of my eye, 
in the inner corner if that makes sense. I want the light goldish green color to be only in the center of the lid to draw attention to the center of the lid. Does that make sense? I'm packing the darkness on the outer V and on the inner part of my eye as well. Well, you see what I'm doing. You, you get the gist of it. So I'm going to go back and forth with that. It is a lot of building because you want to start off slow instead of just packing on like black eyeshadow in the inner part and stuff like that. So after I've done that, I'm going to take a pencil brush and this cream color in the vanity palette. And of course, I'm like out of focus and out of frame. But I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this color. Then I'm going to take the brow bone shade in this palette and I'm going to go over it. Yes. I'm also going to do that whole process to the inner part of my eye as well, my inner tear duct area to highlight. So I'm going to finish off, well I'm going to start my face makeup before I finish my eye makeup and I'm just priming my face with the pore eraser by Maybelline and then I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi and ba bam my foundation is done. I know, that was random, but I decided to skip my foundation so that the video isn't too long but I used True Match Lumi to give myself a little bit of a glow factor. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 15 Fair and I'm highlighting my whole face. As you can see, my under eyes and just my face, yes. I'm blending that in with a Morphe brush. And after I've blended all of that in, I'm gonna take, are you surprised, my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 and I'm gonna set that concealer with it. Setting under eye concealer is really important so that the concealer doesn't crease and settle into your lines. So I'm going to go back into this palette. I'm going to take this cranberry shade. This isn't going to make much of a difference. Um, I actually don't know why I use this color. Uh, yeah, but I did it on the other eye so I decided to just do it on this eye as well. But after I did that, I'm taking some of the brown and I'm kind of diffusing that cranberry shade, just blending it out. And then I'm gonna go, yeah, I put on some, eye this video is a hot mess, isn't it? I filmed this like at three in the morning. So I put on some eyeliner. I used my Maybelline Master Drama eyeliner and then I dipped my brush right back into that dark green shade and I'm applying it really close to my lash line. That's why I'm using this brush. This is a really flat, kind of like precise brush. Um, it's from Eagle Tools, it's amazing. So after I apply some of that dark green eyeshadow, I'm going to take the light green eyeshadow and just apply it in the very center, kind of to mimic the lid on top. I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. This would look amazing with falsies, but it was 3 in the morning and I just, I couldn't guys, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't deal with it. So I just applied some mascara. Um, I'm fast forwarding this part because basically I'm just using my e.l.f. Um, mineralized bronzer in the shade Tan Toffee. It's kind of a warm bronzer, so I'm just warming up my skin. I'm not really contouring or anything, just adding some warmth. Then I'm going to take this blush. This is Rose de Oro from Milani. And I'm applying this to my cheeks. This is a beautiful, like, bronzy coral color. I don't know, it looks really good with green eyeshadow. Love it. Try it with green eyeshadow. It's beautiful. So I'm applying that to my cheeks. And then I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Milani. It's called Bella Chiffon. And I'm actually going to use this as a highlight for my cheekbones. It has a beautiful golden undertone. I swear, it's like a beautiful highlight. I highly recommend Bella Chiffon as a highlight. You will not be disappointed if you like golden kind of highlights. And I decided to just add that same Bella Chiffon eyeshadow to my brow bone and my inner tear duct as well. If you don't have this eyeshadow, you don't have to do this, but I really like intense highlights. Then Porter decided he didn't want to be on the floor anymore, so yeah. I'm going to line my lips a little bit using the Jordana Lip Liner in Tawny. I'm only going to add just a little bit of this to my lips, just to add like a flush of this color. Not too much, but I am filling my whole lip with this, just very lightly. Then I'm going to go into this Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude. It's a really pretty pinky nude. Okay guys, so that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.